In this lesson we're going to learn how to accompany the silver spear reel, it's in the key of D and I have Shane Hayes on the button accordion to play it for us. We're going to have a listen to it at session speed, just once round, then I'm going to bring up the chord charts, we're going to take things nice and slow, break everything down, go through the rhythm and all of that good stuff. I have a bonus at the end so stick around for that. <laughs> Hey, it's Aidan here, AidanCoin.com, where I teach you how to play in dadgad guitar. If this is your first time here and you want to learn more about Irish music, songs, and guitar techniques, click the subscribe button now and the bell so you don't miss out on anything. So we'll start with the rhythm and it's in 4-4 four, four time reel, so 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. That's the very simple version of it, so 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and... But what I like to do with this reel is to break up, say, the tones on the guitar into bass and treble. So you're going one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and bass, treble, bass, treble, one and two and three and four and bass, treble, bass, treble. And it just kind of gives that bit of a more motion to the tune. So another type of rhythm that you might want is a boom chuck, so that goes one, two, three, four, down, 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 one, two, three, four, a bass, treble, bass, treble, bass, treble, bass, treble. And that's good for the likes of moving bass lines. But what you want to do is be able to mix that in with the other rhythm we did. So that's one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and boom chug, boom chug, boom chug, boom chug, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And so mixing them up together would be a good thing to practice. So I'll show you the chord framework that I use in this tune in D and you can get more involved with it and add more in or you can pair things back depending on what type of guitar player you want to be. So I start off with this D modal chord and I use that as the grounding uh, for a lot of part one and I just keep things quite simple so something like that I'm just keeping that 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 D modal chord as the main home chord off of that I'd make it a D major chord by dropping my third finger and that's kind of bringing you up to a a G, you just slide up to this inside G. And then I'd repeat that exact same phrase on the outside because we just, we played it on the inside D. I played on the outside D. So. Something like that. So the only set um, set chord structure I have is at the very end part, and that's to follow the, the accordion or the melody. So it goes G, F sharp, G, A. And I just like doing that and having that as set. Other than that, I'm just kind of playing around with these. I might put in this low E note as well. But at the end of the phrase, I'd go and that would lead you into part two. So let's have a listen to part one now, a bit slower, and you can see where I have these inside and outside changes, and then that phrase at the end into part two. If you're enjoying things so far, please do click the like button. It helps quite a lot here with the algorithm. And if you have any questions at all, just leave them below. I'll get back to you. So then the framework for part two, rather than it being based around a D modal shape, I'd have it based around a D major shape. Just to brighten things up. 
So you have. Something like that. So I'm basing it off this D major chord, and you can slide from here up to the inside G, which we've done the, done before. You can bring it back to this. It'd be an F sharp shape because you don't have this little finger in. Down to the E. So G F sharp E. You can do the same on the outside. G two finger G F sharp, and you can do. Just E as a passing note with one note or one finger or the full E minor note. So, so and back to that D major shape. So So that's the type of framework that I'd use and try and follow the tune, use your ears to follow the tune and uh, make up your own uh, progressions. So we've gone through the two parts now, the one with the D modal as a home bass and then the D major as the second part. So let's put those two together and have a listen. As a bonus now, I have Shane Hayes on the button accordion to play it straight through without me getting in the way so you can practice along with it. So I hope you got something out of this tutorial. If you did and you want more, here is the Mason's Apron reel for you, full tutorial, and you can check that out. And I'll talk to you on the next one. All the best.